Despite low expectations, this week has been a good one for fight fans. Boxing fans got some pretty good fights to watch, while MMA fans also cannot complain as they had been blessed with Dober Silva. Let's recap the whole weekend and check what important fights happened which are going to impact the future of combat sports. I'm the Indian accent guy and you are on Fightbook. This week's action started on Wednesday when the number one ranked super bantamweight in the world Sam Goodman risked his mandatory status and a million dollars payday against undisputed champion Noya Inoue when he took on the Thai knockout artist Chai Noi Voravod in his hometown in Australia. Both fighters were undefeated with Goodman's record standing at 18-0 and Voravod standing at 25-0. As the stats suggest, Voravod had an advantage in power over Goodman with a 60% knockout percentage compared to Goodman's 44%. Still, Goodman's quickness and agility proved to be a challenge for Voravod. As the round progressed, Goodman's hand began to bother him, potentially broken from a powerful shot in the ninth round. Despite the pain, he refused to give up, adapting his strategy to protect his injured hand. Warawood sensed weakness, but Goodman's defense held strong and he continued to push forward. In the end, Goodman's determination paid off, winning by unanimous decision. After the fight, Sam Goodman said his left hand was cooked in the ninth round and hoped he won't be sidelined for long after his thrilling victory over China War Award came at a physical cost. In the co main event of the same event, two-time Super Featherweight title challenger Lion Wilson made a successful debut in the lightweight division. His powerful left hook was finding its mark time and time again over Yusuf Dib's chin. As the rounds progressed, Wilson's dominance only grew. Finally, in the eighth round, Wilson landed a devastating left hook that sent Dib crashing to the canvas, ending the fight and securing the victory. With that powerful KO win, Wilson improved his record to 14-3, solidifying his position as a top contender in the lightweight division. As he celebrated his victory, he called out former undisputed champion George Kambosos Jr., setting the stage for a potential future showdown. On Friday night, after nine and a half years away, five times former world champion Roman Chocolatito Gonzalez fought again in his native Nicaragua. Chocolatito secured a 10th round TKO against former world title challenger Robert Barrera. The 37-year-old Chocolatito landed big shots at the end of every round. Despite Barrera's valiant efforts, Gonzalez's relentless pressure eventually paid off in the 8th round when Gonzalez landed a left hook to the body, sending Barrera down to the canvas for the first time. In the 9th round, Gonzalez landed a left hook to the head, causing Barrera to go down for the second time. But Barrera somehow survived the round. In round 10, the referee finally stopped the fight, declaring Gonzalez the winner by technical knockout. Time was 51 seconds. This victory marked Gonzalez's first win in over two years, establishing him as a solid contender in his fifth weight class. The second boxing event on Friday night was IBA Champions Night in Russia where there were two undefeated Russians fighting for the vacant gold. 10-0 Albert Bert Gaziev fought for the interim WBA World Super Featherweight title against former title challenger Jono Karol in the co-man event. Carol was clearly focused on stunning his opponent early on, taking the first round before sending Better Gaziev into a spin in the third round. The home favorite was fortunate it was not counted as a knockdown. Despite being against the ropes literally and figuratively, Better Gaziev recovered well to make it an even bout. While Carol remained strong, the end of the seventh saw a cut to the eyelid of the Irishman, the start of his downfall as Carol tried to battle through poor vision caused by the blood. Then the knockdown occurred in the ninth round when Better Gaziev's bodywork paid off and a left to the liver sent Carol to his knees. Carol managed to beat the count, but a subsequent onslaught from Better Gaziev soon put him down again forcing the referee to stop the fight. It was Carol's first topic defeat in his entire career.
Yao Yin Yang and Muslim Gaji Magomedo faced off in a vacant WBA bridgeweight title fight in the main event. The Russian was only 3 and 0 coming into the bout and faced the more experienced professional in Zhang, who handed Evgeny Romanov a shock defeat in February. The two-time IBA World Championship gold medalist and Olympic silver medalist Gaji Magomedo faced the pressure from the Chinese boxer early on, but looked more comfortable watching the punches. come his way round 3 saw him go on the offensive mode where zhang struggled to keep up with gachi magomedov's pace taking a beating in the third and then in the fourth round gachi magomedov dominated the fourth round and then unleashed a flurry of punches in the end of the round that left yang reeling prompting the referee to stop the fight by a tko declaring gachi magomedov the winner and new wba bridgeweight champion The winner was promised a Mercedes AMG GT from the sponsor of the event should somebody finish the fight before the 5th round and after the fight Gaji Magomedov took the keys from IBA president Umar Karimlev Top ranked cards main event was cancelled during the fight week due to their champion could not cut the weight and got hospitalized so they had to upgrade their co-main to the main event The new headliner was 21 and 0 undefeated lightweight contender Raymond Morataya versus former super featherweight champion Tevin Farmer who came as a big underdog. Number 2 in WBC and WBO rankings, Morataya staged a late rally to edge Farmer by a closer than expected 10 round unanimous decision. Farmer showed he could still fight at a high level as he outboxed the younger Morataya through the first half of the fight making him look limited but farmer was exhausted in late rounds and could not keep up the same pace the turning point came in round 8 when farmer was deducted a point for holding farmer slowed down and let morataya win via unanimous decision before tonight morataya had said he felt he belonged among the top guys like shakur stevenson and jervonte davis but after the way morataya fought against farmer he is a fringe level fighter and is nowhere near the level of those fighters In Matchroom's boxing card, Jaren Ennis and David Avanesian faced off in an anticipated IBF welterweight title fight. Ennis came out aggressive from the start, using his quickness and power to outstand Avanesian in the early rounds. Avanesian tried to mount a comeback, but Ennis' pressure and precise striking proved too much. In the 5th round, Ennis landed a devastating combination that sent Avanesian crashing to the canvas. The ringside doctor advised that the fight be stopped after speaking to Avanesian's corner after the 5th round. Avanesian's corner stopped the fight, giving Ennis the TKO victory and the IBF welterweight title. Ennis' dominant performance showcased his rising star power and his strong position to face Terence Crawford in the near future. WBC World Female Featherweight Champion Sky Nicholson was also featured in the card who played it safe boxing moving and clinching to win a wide 10 round unanimous decision over Diana Vargas. It was a painfully dull fight to watch because Nicholson moved and clinched the entire fight. She would only stop long enough to throw one or two punches before grabbing Vargas in a clinch. The scores were 10 to 90 on all three scorecards. Cards. And finally, the weekend ended with an average UFC fight night card. Rose Namajunas saved her best performance to date in the flyweight division to her hometown headlining assignment, showcasing the diversity of her offensive arsenal in an outstanding victory over previously undefeated Tracy Cortez in the sold-out Ball Arena. The former strawweight champion sat down the streaking Cortez in the first round with a clean left hook and was the quicker, sharper of the two throughout. Nava Yunus turned to her grappling in the third, dominating Cortez on the canvas. She was the more effective of the two in the fourth, but the resilient Cortez showed her mettle in the fifth, turning in her best round of the contest in the final stanza. But if she could have done the same earlier, she would not have lost the fight. 
with the victory, Nawaz Yunus has now earned back-to-back -back wins over ranked opponents in 2024 and now is in a great position in her new weight class where she needs only one more to call for a title shot. The feature bout was between Jean Silva and Drew Dober who engaged in the kind of knockdown drag out battle everyone expected from the moment this fight was announced. The surging Brazilian claimed a third round stoppage victory in a captivating lightweight clash that had Ball Arena on their feet at the start of the third round. After running fairly level in the opening round, Silva began distancing himself from the Colorado-based veteran in the second, turning a small cut over Dober's right eye into a larger, leaking wound with each big shot he landed. The bout was halted early in the final frame when it was clear the cut was too great to allow Dober to continue. Silva had picked up his second stoppage win in three weeks and third victory of 2024 up a division no less. There is no doubt he has established himself as a prospect to keep an eye on. And that's all. Like the video if you enjoyed it and subscribe to the channel for more. Now I'll see you in the next video so till then do whatever you want.